Hey everybody, Rob here from Average Hobby, and today I wanted to talk about something a little different that I've done to my setup, or my office area, for uh, for all of this. Number one, I got rid of the, uh, the stuff that was sitting there, so now I've got no dresser and no wardrobe. I do have some old clothes I need to sort through, that's why that's there, and obviously my vacuum, because I need a vacuum, and then my old computer as well. Stand, Lego, Doggo, uh, de 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 desk -o. Yeah, that's kind of stupid. Anyways, uh, so, um, I made a big change in my office. Um, I'm hoping people are going to like it. Um, theoretically, the nearest kiddo. So, I made a big change in my office. That's why I'm actually filming on my phone today. Uh, well, actually, not really filming on my phone. I'm just using it as a camera. But, I made a big change. And I'm hoping people think this is a good idea. So, there's my airbrush video coming very soon about something that everyone needs to know about that, so keep an eye out for that video. But, so, I did a big reorganization. It doesn't look like much, but, so up here is, I think those are just spare containers. Okay, spare containers. I've got my Army Painter war paints over there. Now that they just, I bought all those the next day. Uh, that day after I got them all, they announced the Fanatic ones, but there's my speed paints and all that stuff. But, what I've done is actually all down here. Um, all my old bits from 20 years ago are now in this box here, my Leviathan box. But, I was trying to figure out how to organize my bits via the army. Um, and I just realized, like, I'm only collecting these six armies. I've got my Grey Knights that I haven't even started yet my Custodes, my Space Marines, my Imperial Guard, my Tyranids, and then my Tau. So, what I realized is, hey, you get bits, right? If you're left over bits, um, what am I going to do? I also want to have my boxes of what I need to make or build and paint up and all that stuff associated with each army. So what I did was I got obviously the set. Then I have this little bit, this little Plano uh, bits box. Is it enough? Probably down the road, no. But what I do is I put each one with the army. So here's the one for my two units, which is completely empty at the moment. I think it has four heads in it. Over here. <laughs> and that's about it. Uh, no, sorry. Heads are over here. Ripper swarms are there. But then what I'll do is what I need to open, or actually put together, is on top of my bids box. And there's a reason for that. The reason for that is because it will force me to basically make this stuff up and keep a, I guess they call it a pile of shame, right? Uh, keep that down. Uh, my plan right now is to have multiple sets per army to put together just for a uh, change of things. Like I've got two more models for the, my custodians coming. And no Grey Knights coming. Um, actually, I think I have nothing more for my Astro Militarum. I've got these two models and this one. Uh, I'm pretty sure I'm good to go with my Tyranids at the moment. And my Tau, I've got three more sets of Space Marines coming. Um, and that'll be it for a while. Uh, what I was thinking of doing, depending on if I have the time and effort, and there's all my cleaning supplies down there for everything. Um, and then my basic stuff down there. But what I was thinking of doing is maybe upping my video count to two videos a month. Um, I'm seeing, you know, a lot more views and all that stuff, so I'm pretty happy about that. Um, but I just wanted to give people a little update as to my little reorganization, what people think. Um, is it a good idea to have the bits with the army, with the unopened stuff, to kind of keep things in control a little bit? Because we all know, the I, I'm, I'm a big collector. I want to have one of everything. Um, one of the things I think I'm going to be ending up doing is moving my Grey Knights over with my Custodes. Not the containers, just the armies together. Uh, the reason why is because both armies are pretty small. There's, there's a very small range. Um, the Imperial Guard, the Tyranids, and the Space Marines are going to be probably pretty difficult to um, contain. Um, I might be replacing all of this up here to free up some space down here, where I might be putting my bits, boxes, and stuff down here, 
and then having the army set up there. I might also get another one of these from Ikea to put over here. Um, I was also talking to someone about possibly modifying these and bringing each one of these up a little bit. Sorry. And modifying this so I don't have as much space in between because a lot of it is just useless space. But then again, you get something like this, that's going to take up a lot of space. <laughs> And then the Norn Emissary, I think, stands about that tall. Like, stands like, I think it's like double the height of the, uh, of the uh, Screamer Killer, so I'll have to see. And then the, there, of course, is the new Tyranids. The new Hormagons that I just picked up, that should be a video coming up very soon. Um, but yeah, so I'm thinking of doing two videos a month now. Um, just because I've got a lot of stuff to paint up. I've got. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 14, 15, 16, 17 sets, um, plus I think, yeah, I think I'm going to have 20 sets in total coming, or already here, um, so yeah, so I think I'm going to be doing two videos a month. Uh, that also means I need to start painting more. A lot of these are smaller, they're not the, co the big combat patrols that I started with. So that's a good thing, like I can paint these guys up in one night. So that's not a big deal. Um, even the Space Marines, I mean I do my paint, my wash, and then do all the detailing, and that'll be pretty easy. Um, the Storm Surge here is going to be really hard. Uh, it's going to be the biggest model I think that uh, I'll have made, we'll see. But yeah, so, what do you guys think of this idea of keeping the bits with the army, with the unopened stuff, on top? Uh, yeah, and then hopefully I'll be able to do a LEGO video very soon. I've got two little sets over there, the police station, and I think the other one's the Jazz Club? Yep. Uh, I can't do it upside down, but yeah, so we have the Jazz Club and the police station to do, so, let me... Anyways, so I really appreciate uh, you watching this. Could be doing anything else, but you're watching this. So thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.